We aspire to create a broad-based movement that will create so much pressure that the governments launch negotiations on a new international treaty to prohibit weapon systems that would select and engage targets without meaningful human control. A machine is not a moral anything. It's a machine. Mm. Um, so allowing machines to, in theory, through algorithms, decide what they will target and what they will attack is one of the huge reasons why we consider it to be crossing the Rubicon and grossly unethical and immoral. Machines should be in the service of human beings. Human beings should not be in the service of machines. Killer robots, as I understand how they would like to see them, with perhaps one pilot overseeing a swarm of 100 fighter jets, how could that one human being possibly control what those weapons do? It is totally impossible. Meaningful human control means that a human being is making the target and control the target and kill decision, period. If we allow autonomous weapons to deploy and select and engage with their own targets, we will see disproportionate false fatalities, um, error rates with people of color, people with disabilities, anybody who has been excluded from the training sets by virtue of the builder's um, own inherent bias. And I don't think that we as a community, as a global international community, want to disproportionately target vulnerable communities, especially under the guise of authoritarian, authoritarian regimes. Um, in my experience at a computer vision startup uh, where I was for about two years, I can tell you firsthand that these algorithms find new and spectacular ways to fail. And in so many ways, um, they do it such that humans just simply can't understand what went wrong, what they need to do to correct it, or how to fix the problems. 